but it looks like someone forgot their combination to a Century safe. Out with Brandon yesterday, we probably both saw, oh goodness gracious, I mean, it was like four trash cans in a row, just beautiful mattresses. I mean, some were better than others. What is that, a headboard? That's all that stuff. There's a box. Sometimes boxes get interesting. We went forward yesterday and found a bunch of shoes in a box. That was kind of a small box though. Nothing sticking out of the top of it there. Looks like these folks picked up some action. those were like brand new snowboarding boots i've never heard of that brand before i think it's just kind of a generic brand and then some books and then some other action so we're gonna go ahead and just leave that stuff for another diver but very nice to be able to just jump out see it behind the half wall the maintenance guys they put the stuff behind the half wall so sometimes it is intriguing you do not see it unless you're slow creeping by and then potentially you could see it Well, we saw a Marc Jacobs little leather box with some makeup in it, and I was able to grab the spinner wheel suitcase for Uncle Phil. He's gonna be pretty stoked about that. Yeah, sure, it has some scuffs on the cloth because it is a zippered cloth one, but it looks like it's overall good condition. Spinner 360 wheels, you know, no complaints there. So we went ahead and took that bad boy, so we got some action for Uncle Phil. He's gonna be pretty pumped up. Well, guys, that was a small IKEA system. I'm not exactly sure. It was kind of taken apart a little bit. I'm going to be talking with you here as we kind of creep on a couple cans here. Nothing there, nothing there. So uh, it wasn't a uh, entertainment center, I don't think. And I don't think it was a nightstand either. I'm not sure. I'm going to kick my window down. Nice couch. Well, that was a pretty decent couch and love seat. The love seat was in a whole nother area of the complex on the other half, to be honest with you. Not sure if the maintenance guys did that or not to distribute uh, the couches so there's not a big old bundle of stuff in the walkway. But nonetheless, they look from at least 30, 40 feet away. They look pretty nice. All right, we got ourselves, what's that? A little coffee table. I think I'm gonna have to go around. Worn office chair, four chairs, Eh, nah, it just looks like kind of older furniture, to be honest with you. We won't uh, go in for a closer look, but that excites me for this one. Uh, that was looking like a coffee table over there, but let's see what's up with this one. All right, nothing there. We'll push on. All right, we're going to do a little mission here. There's a close parking spot, so I'm actually going to go through with this, but it looks like someone forgot their combination to a Century Safe, and it literally looked like it was burnt and crowbarred. <laughs> now, here's the thing. If they weren't successful in getting anything out of it, and uh, it's still locked, uh, I'll probably just whip up real quick, throw it in the car. Uh, I'll shake it around, see if there's anything in it, but it'd be just cool to go film it. So let's go around the corner and check it out. I couldn't get it open and there was someone actually coming so I just shook it real quickly I didn't hear anything jiggling around it was just the weight of the safe hopefully but that thing looked like it was crowbarred up for sure because there didn't seem to be anything inside of it nothing like you know banged around when I tipped it I'm thinking maybe someone else found it and it was locked they try to get into it realizing it 
okay, like I can't get into it, so I'm just gonna put it back by the dumpster. I don't know. Another Model Y. They look really good, pearl white. The rims need to be a little bit bigger, probably another inch or two bigger, but very clean, pearl white Model Y. Folks, just wanted to holler at you real quickly here. I'm out here in Long Beach, California. We're gonna do some disc golf. And you're like, Chris, it's 3.40 in the afternoon. What are you doing? Well, guys, entrepreneurship is not for everybody, and I totally understand that. Some people love the value and knowing how much they're getting paid every single two weeks. Now, myself, on the other hand, I love the freedom. If that freedom does come responsibility, but it does feel good that my complete day of work is already done. I will probably do a little bit more work tonight, but I can take a very beautiful breather right now and go throw 18 before tonight's events. Well, the bun is a little bit messed up, but this is round one of a beautiful three round dinner for cheat day. That is a bun on the top, soaked in burger fat, two patties, onions, grilled onions, lettuce, tomato. We're making double doubles happen. Round two is gonna be two hot dogs, grilled in the burger fat once again, stovetop, stovetop, remember that. Heated up bun in the burger fat, we have sharp cheddar, we have grilled onions under there somewhere, relish, a little bit of ketchup, and we also have sweet potato fries by Trader Joe's, half a bag right here. Go ahead and drizzle on some bacon ranch, maybe some ketchup. This is only round two. We're going round three. We haven't even got to dessert yet. Stay tuned. And for round three, you thought I was joking. Huge nacho plate. We have chips. We have relish. We have cheese, of course. We have wing sauce. It's getting crazy up in here. Look at that bag of chips, by the way. Look at my hand compared to the bag of chips. Look at this. Round three. Stay tuned for dessert. And let's go ahead and finish this party off real, real nicely. Chocolate pie and more cookie dough right there. I like to challenge the rock to a Sunday cheat day walk-off, meaning that we cook and we eat Last man standing. If this video goes viral, I challenge to the rock to a Sunday cheat day meal. Now I do want to give you an update on the Street Fighter arcade game. So it actually does turn on. You hear the noise, but there's nothing on the screen. After watching a few YouTube videos, I found out this is a PCB board. There's only one board in the back of the unit. I've already taken the back off because you actually assemble it when you do buy it. And so unfortunately, it's just a cheaper board. I can buy one straight through the company for $40, but I'll probably pick one up used on eBay for around the low $30 or so. I might go with the one that's brand new. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to get anything under warranty because I'm not the original owner. I'll ask, but I don't think the warranty is transferable. So either I'll buy a pre-owned one on eBay, but all the joysticks and everything are absolutely fantastic. Now I did unfortunately crack that a little bit as I was sliding it in from my unit into my car. That kind of top thing came up, but you can get all new graphics and a new plastic piece for about $25, but it's so small, I won't worry about that. So good news is it does work. It just needs a low $30 board. Again, this is $350 brand new, including, uh, sorry, not including tax at walmart.com. And they also make a bunch of other ones here. I might even some sort of maybe box to kind of lift it up that makes it look cool. They do sell those as well. You will need a chair in order to use this uh, kind of pushed up against it, but everything works, the buttons work and all that. And even in this condition, I literally could sell the LCD screen, all the joysticks and all that stuff and make some money, but I think it's really cool. I definitely want to hold on to it for a future project for the man cave. And so I think that's really, really dialed. In. So we'll be ordering that part. We'll show you that real simple. I'll be making that video on my other channel. It's always linked below. Check that out. And also, if you've gotten this far into the video, hit that thumbs up button and check out my Instagram in the description box below. Hit me up on Instagram. Let me know you guys watch the vids. I also post some sweet stories every single week and sometimes some heads up on items I do find.
And lastly here, I was able to figure, like I mentioned, how to fold that up there. That's gonna be sweet for a project. Blue on one side, green on the other. Green screen, blue screen, we'll be using that. Also, definitely subscribe to my other tech channel. We are gonna be working on a sweet electric motorcycle build right over there. Stay tuned. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.